As the rector of an Anglican church in Hobart, Victor Shaw provides support and advice to his congregation. In your anger, do not sin. But earlier this year, it was his father in need of help. I found out that he'd lost um, pretty much most of his life savings, uh, about $450,000. To make matters worse, 78-year-old Alex was diagnosed with dementia days later, making it difficult to figure out how he'd been conned. He was quite confused, really, about the whole thing. But Victor found clues in his dad's handwritten notes, which summarised the calls he'd received from strangers. They indicated he'd fallen victim to a remote access scam and that after his account was suspended by ANZ due to suspicious transactions, he was tricked into getting it reactivated. Then after the bank account was unlocked, they just took it all. After reviewing the circumstances, ANZ agreed to pay back $460,000, admitting it could have done more to support the 78-year-old, given his vulnerability and a prior history of being scammed. I was just completely blown away by, absolutely astonished. But not everyone is as fortunate. Of the more than half a billion dollars lost through scams at Australia's big four banks, only 21 million was paid back to customers over a 12-month period. Australians over the age of 65 are scammed more frequently and lose more money than other age groups. But factors such as dementia can also make people more vulnerable. The reason why is that as people's dementia progresses, they do lose the ability to assess risk and also to manage their financial affairs. To ensure his father's finances are now safe, Victor has activated his power of attorney and he's sharing his dad's experience to help other families protect their loved ones from scammers. Jono Gibson, ABC News.